Well, well, would you look at there. Our field is finally ready to harvest. Welcome back, farming friends, to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, Mr. Moose. And yes, our fields are ready to go. So let's jump in our combine and fire it up and get going. It's time to harvest and make some money. Been looking forward to this day. I'm glad it's finally here. So, let's go over how we're going to do this today. I've got uh, our buddy Sven mowing over there in field 22. And uh, while he's doing that, he's going to pay for us to have a little extra help on the fields today. So, we're going to switch into field work. We're going to set up a course in course play for field number 8. Using a 4.2 meter head. Our starting corner is going to be in the southeast. We're going to be headed to the west. And we're going to give ourselves, mm, I think, three headlands. Because uh, there are some trees close to the field that I don't want to run into. So we'll generate our course, and we are ready to go. Let's get this guy parking brake off. And we will. Swing around here and get going. So if you're new to the series and um, uh, and I mentioned turning off a parking brake or I'm jumping into uh, some of the units and driving away or having to start the motor and you're just getting started on farming sim and wondering how is he doing that. I'm using a mod called Drive Control. And what that allows you to do is just that uh, it allows you to keep your uh, motor started by hitting the enter key you start the motor and then by uh, using control and shift which are the default bindings you uh, you can take off the parking brake uh, you'll see right here this icon is four-wheel drive you do that by hitting shift and the uh, four key five is your front differential and six is is your rear differential lock down here throttle control uh, which you use shift and your I believe it's up and down arrow and then here is your torque control which is uh, shift and your right left arrow and that tells you that gives you the ability to uh, it's sort of like a gear limiter if you think of it as in keeping your tractor in second gear the whole time. So um, where that comes in handy is if you have a, a tractor that's a little undersized for a particular implement, you can use that to... Um, see if I can get this guy out of the ditch. There we go. Looks like he is ready to go to the cell point, so run him over here um, what that allows you to do is let's say you have a, a tractor that has um, a larger implement on the back let's say you have an implement that calls for 160 horsepower and you're running a tractor that has right at 180 horsepower and it pl it has a rough time pulling that implement well what you can do is using course play or by using um, drive control if you lower that torque down a little bit it will actually decrease the uh, I gotta lower the speed on this thing or it's gonna drive crazy if you lower the if you lower the torque on it you won't go as fast in your tractor but it will give you more pulling power because it will keep it in a lower gear so that's that's the way that works uh, I know a lot of people use drive control more and more in the game because where it's really nice is to be able to get in, start your tractor, jump out of your tractor and go to another implement. And when you come back, your tractor's running instead of uh, the default in-game mode, which when you leave a tractor in-game, it stops the tractor. Now, the one thing you have to think about in doing that, if you're using drive control, you have to keep in mind that when you jump out of your tractor, it stays running and it's consuming gas. So... Uh, make sure if you're going to be out of it for a long period of time make sure you turn that motor off or you're going to just eat through your fuel and um, 
you run the risk of running it completely out of fuel. So, um, yeah. So keep that in mind. All right. So this guy is uh, almost here to the cell point. We'll dump him, and then uh, we will go get another tractor lined up to do some dumping. So where are we at? We are still on day... I think we're day... Let's see. I think I've lost track. I'm not sure if we're on day three or day four. Uh, I think it's day four. I think day three was pretty much a waste. I think that's right. I think we're on day four. I don't know. I can't keep up with it. We're either on day three or day four. Whatever day we're on, we're in the afternoon. We did our... we. Uh, Yesterday's video was the beginning of the morning. We bought a conveyor. We unloaded the silage. We realized that we had a little plant growth problem. Um, so we did that. Uh, did a little off-camera mowing of grass. And I did sow three more fields. Uh, so we've got a um, couple more fields that will be uh, ready for option after we are ready for harvest. After we get all this done. Um, so... Then we fast forwarded. We are now 6:30, I believe, day three. That's what we're gonna call it, and uh, that's where we're at. This guy is just about ready for harvest. He's 91%, so I need to go get another tractor fired up, and uh, come on, dum dum. There we go. Get this guy fired up. And yeah, we're all go get our trailer. And get this guy. This is not the tractor I want to use. Man, I'm just not with it today. And that guy is done. Fire this guy up. Open our door. And we'll pick up that trailer and we will go get us some canola lag there all right so the game plan for today is to uh, have the computer handle the harvesting and I will manually dump it and we'll have Sven mow grass to help pay for the hired hand and um, then we'll come behind and once we've gotten enough of the field harvested with the combine We'll uh, set up a cultivator to start cultivating the field as well. And, uh, yeah, I got to get cruise control set. And then we can get up behind him and go ahead and keep pace with him. So that'll be our game plan anyways. Uh, for today. Try not to get too close to him when he's making those inside turns. Or he will run right into you. Alright, now I can pace him. Pull out so I can keep my distance. And we'll get him unloaded. So yeah, if I had one more tractor, I would uh, I would probably automate three tractors, or I would probably automate the harvester and the uh, and the cultivator, and then I would come behind and seed and go ahead and try and get these fields replanted as fast as possible. But uh, you know we are short a tractor because we did sell off uh, the other little Agrostar in order to uh, 
uh, in order to get our forge wagon. So uh, it was a good trade-off. We'll just have to pick up a new tractor sooner than later to uh, to replace it. But uh, so for right now, we'll go ahead and we'll harvest this field. We'll uh, we'll set this guy up to cultivate, and uh, and I will handle the dumping of the uh, of the harvester, and then also. Um, I'll do some cultivating and when I'm not cultivating I'll I'll let the AI do the rest of it I look forward to getting this harvest done and getting some cash into the bank so we can uh, start upgrading some of this equipment we uh, we definitely need a new sewing machine which will probably be our first purchase. That's about 54000 And we will upgrade our cultivator um, to a larger larger cultivator um, right at 54000 as well. So got a couple of purchases that we need to make, but uh, we'll get those done in time, and that'll be good for us uh, to get started on that. And bring this guy over here get him in place not necessarily in a hurry to run him through the field yet um, but I get him over here shut him down but yeah those are probably next two purchases we'll make uh, definitely need to update the sewing machine it takes up so much time to seed these fields. So if we go ahead and get ourselves uh, that larger Vatterstat, which I think is 8 meters, that'll help us out tremendously and save a lot more time. The cultivator really doesn't bother me that much because, like I said, we can automate that while we're harvesting. And uh, we can stay ahead of the game on that. And that way, the seeding portion won't take as long if we get a bigger seeder. Let's see where we're at. 50%. Go ahead and get this guy in place right here. Hopefully, the uh, cultivator on I mean, the harvester will make it all the way around here. And uh, we can harvest right here. See what I want to do. Get this guy out of the way. Pull him off right here. Go ahead and grab that corner real quick. I'm going to miss these corners and probably not clean them up. Probably just cultivate through them. They're really not that much in the scheme of things. This is a little bit of loss, but I'm not going to sweat it that much. So he's 75%, so this would be good. We can grab him on the downward run. Go ahead and pull right up here. We'll be in position when he comes around. All right, we'll get him dumped. And let's see, our straw is about 92%. So, uh, just about the time we get this guy finished up, we'll probably be looking at, uh, at going to dump that. And then we'll get our cultivator set up. 
maybe set our cultivator in place ahead of time I don't know that's a lot of waste in these corners I might go ahead and run through those myself uh, and not not let them all go to waste I realized there was that much in the corners like I say I usually don't sweat it then again a lot of times I'll cut my headland myself and I don't have to worry about it tell you what we'll do is we'll stop this guy after he makes his turn back up and uh, clear these headland or these corners as we come to them and that way they'll be cleaned up so let's stop him back up just uh, clean these corners up every dime counts right let's see how much it actually is in waste so 807 is where we're at and, and that one was quite a bit that was almost 20 units so I think that's worth taking a second to uh, to clean these up yeah I mean that was nearly 50 units that we cleared up right there so uh, I think we'll go ahead and clean those corners right now because like I said every unit counts in hard mode Uh, so like I said, we planted three more fields. We came up to 12, 30, 29 and planted those. Uh, 12 is in oats. And 30 and thir uh, 29 are in rye. So we got quite a diverse uh, amount of harvesting to do. 8 and 48 are canola. 49 and 5 are barley. 7 is corn. 31 is uh, wheat. 33 is sunflower 11 and 12 are oats and 30 and 29 are in rye and that's where we're at so today we'll uh, we'll harvest the field we're working on canola and um, off camera I will probably go ahead and harvest uh, 49 and get that canola done and in the silo bunker so when we come back tomorrow we'll be able to harvest our barley get some straw that'll give us the ability to go ahead and make some total mixed rations and that means we're ready to get some cattle and start our dairy farm up so looking forward to that tomorrow will be a fun day which yeah and in the time scheme of things in game that means uh we'll do uh we'll do uh it's what 639 now we'll go ahead and harvest today and i will uh not paying attention missed that trigger point i think there it is such a small trigger point um, time scheme of things we'll uh, we'll go ahead and spend the remaining couple of hours of today uh, harvesting fields uh, the canola and then at that point we'll probably end up uh, fast tracking to around 5 5 30 in the morning and when we'll reset and start um, uh, getting the uh, the barley out of the field which is a little early uh, in all honesty to start harvesting a field uh, but because uh, you would have the you'd want to let the morning dew burn off for your harvest but we're going to go ahead and harvest anyways Let's see where we're at 80% on that guy 
Let's jump in the combine, stop him real quick. Clean these corners up. Set this guy back in automation. Let me get that guy dumped out. And then we'll go set up our uh, cultivator, get him going. Let's see. Okay, he's unloaded. I can peel off. And then I'm going to jump back into that harvester. Him real quick. I'll clean up this corner because that really is a lot of waste when you think about it. I was um, watching through some videos this morning, and um, uh, one of the gentlemen was tired who uses the developer's edition of course play. Um, and plays it was mentioning that they um, they are working to resolve this issue with the cornering to where you don't have these issues where you don't have all this loss in the corner which will be nice um, really like to see that you know tighten these turns up a little bit it would be nice to see them not just go in there and cut the corner so deep or so shallow, I would say. Uh, it would be nice to see them cut them deeper. So that's supposed to be in the in the works. Um, again, I steer clear of the developer's edition of, of course play uh, um, for my gameplay, just because. I don't know why did that do that? Let's see if I can see the course so I know where I'm at. Should be right there. Yeah. Uh, again, I steer clear of using the developer's edition. Um, just because it is buggy. And you, it seems like they'll fix one thing and they'll crash something else. And I don't know. It's one of those things where I like using and like helping out and commenting on where I see problems. But at the same time, I just, you know, I like to just enjoy the game. So I steer clear of it. And plus, when I'm doing these videos, I really want to steer clear of using anything that you wouldn't use when you're playing the game and I don't think you'd want to use the developers edition because again it can be unstable and something that'll work for you today uh, won't work tomorrow so um, yeah so but down the road uh, when they do release uh, the upgrades there's some pretty cool things coming the ability to preview your course um, in a window and and um, some better anti-collision in there um, but getting it to where it'll cut those corners a little bit deeper that would be really really nice all right i am going to jump into this other tractor and fire it up and don't want to do too much cultivating with it right now because that 
that uh, Harvester honestly needs to get further and further away from it, but um, it's good to go ahead and get some of this done. Because this thing runs at 10 miles an hour and uh, the harvester is running at 6. So as you can tell, it will, uh, it will catch it. But we'll go ahead and get it going here. And I'm just going to cut my headland in for it. And then I'll set it up to start running itself around here. And what I will probably do is instead of running it in course play, I'll probably just run it as a hireable. And, uh, just let it work when I can't work with it if that makes sense and that way I can keep my cost down a little bit on it um, if I run it when I'm not uh, when I'm free I'll just come and run it but when uh, when I need to go tend to dumping the harvester and dumping straw I'll set it to automation and uh, and let the hireable run it as long as I get my headland cut in ahead of time uh, then that should work out just fine The hired help with this is pretty good. They do a pretty good job of of uh, of running as long as you don't have any obstructions for them to run into. That's the only thing where course play has a leg up because they did put that anti-collision in where the tractor won't just stay stuck in forward. If it hits an object and it can't get out of the situation within so many seconds it will reverse itself and rechange its course to try and get off of the obstruction and I do like that 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 does justify having course play on something um, versus just doing the in-game hireables most of the time for any kind of work field work I use the uh, I use course play but um, Usually the only time I I do just hire a hireable is uh, is combine work. Because most of the time you can set it up in a field. If you go ahead and cut your headlands in first, you can set it up with a hireable and the hireable will do just fine with it. So I don't always use course play, but I mostly do use course play. I don't really like auto combine that much. It seems to slow the pace of things down considerably because it does so much back when it's doing corners, it does so much forward back forward back forward back nibbling away at the corners instead of just making a nice smooth turn in the corner and moving on so I've noticed that slows it way down there you go. dump that thing Ninety-eight. Come on, get to it before it stops. Nope. Hey, 
I had almost gotten to, but I just wasn't fast enough. Get him running, and I am going to go. He's not quite ready. Take this guy and dump him real quick. He's not completely full, but I'll go ahead and dump him. And by the time I get back, it'll be time to go take care of that grass, and then we can dump the harvester again. And we'll be about out of time for this video. So like I said, off camera, we'll uh, finish harvesting up this field. And we'll move over to field 49, harvest that. And uh, when we come back, we'll be uh, looking to get our barley done, get the straw out of that field. And uh, ambitiously, we'll look at mixing up some total mixed rations and getting our, uh, our cattle purchased and get our dairy farming set up that's uh that is my goal for our next video which means i'll probably do some of the barley harvest off camera so that when we come back we'll just be basically we'll have some straw to gather up we'll get it gathered up purchase our water tank and uh get at it Come on, don't don't tell me I missed the trigger. I did. There it is. All right, so we'll dump our canola in here. Putting some money in the bank, basically. I'll have to start selling off some trailer load of this a trailer load of that I was really hoping we would uh, you know by the end of this harvest I'm really hoping that we'll get a, uh, a high demand on something but uh, don't know that that'll happen but we'll definitely have to sell off some of it this go round to uh, to start our upgrade process um, because I would like to upgrade that cedar pretty quickly dump that grass and my goal for uh, for doing this is as long as uh, harvesting the grass and my two other workers as long as we stay over 15,000 and uh, we should be fine which we should we should make about you know, whittle, we should be making about $400 uh, every time this trailer dumps. So that'll keep us up ahead of the game. Eventually we'll fall behind though because uh, when we get into doing barley and wheat, I'm going to have to have this tractor to... Uh, to get that straw out of the field so we'll start losing a little bit of ground there but we'll scale back on our hireables at that point uh, to where we're not losing that money 
All right. Well, guys and gals, that's probably about our time limit for this video. Uh, we'll continue on this field, and we'll get our harvest done. We'll get this guy uh, ready for planting, and then we'll come back and we'll be harvesting that barley for you. So, I do hope you'll come back and join us again tomorrow for our next video. Until then, y'all stay safe. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, do subscribe, like the video, and uh, come back tomorrow as we continue our series here in North Brabant. I am Mr. Moose, and thanks for watching Farming Simulator 2015 with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.